Hello everyone, so here we are doing the review on the Ford Ranger Raptor. I didn't have time to cover the license plate, so just forgive me for that guys. I love this grill, like bulky, it's not like the American one, which I actually prefer, because we don't get it here. Um, so this is a 17 inch rim, because 4x4s normally have smaller rims, okay. Um, the suspension is excellent on this car. I love the step, it's so hard and wide. Um, like hard steel, very like um, resistant, very strong. You can step on it, you never see it like arching or anything. They made a beautiful step. Um, I love the, the steel s treatment that they gave on it. Okay, the sand blasting and then the, the treatment is excellent. Um, the paint is black, uh, metallic black. Okay, on this one comes with these stickers right here on the sides so I use it very little the pickup okay actually gonna open up here the trunk as you can see it's all like brand new I only did 2,000 kilometers on this car I've had it for a year so I use it very very little it's my like collectible item car <laughs> And um, it's got a manual curtain because I prefer the manual. Easier to clean. This is a box that I have styrofoam. It's like ultra resistant styrofoam. It's not like the normal white styrofoam you see. So I keep all my stuff here. Uh, it's just like anti noise and everything, you know. It's just much easier to tidy everything up. Uh, as usual, I got these. Um, I ordered this carpet. Okay actually came from USA this carpet uh, I had to trim it out a little bit okay and then I got this um, mats over here as well and uh, this is the normal floor bed that it comes with so yes so the cool thing is that it really came all wrapped up with the plastic all around and uh, yes extra protection mats I always do that also the trunk also comes with this plastic protection already only down full on this car was like it came with no protection on the trunk here so this was all paint okay so i added this plastic trim okay that i got from uh, actually from uh, aliexpress quite cool okay um very stylish um very strong and it actually comes very handy to close and open the trunk okay instead of always being the hands on the paint and scratching the paint with this rubber which is going to scratch because of dust and sand uh, this protects it and it's very uh, resistant you can paint it I decided not because I like this matte finish it goes with this plastic right here um, and it's like it looks like an area long you know wind downforce <laughs> very sporty so that stands out from the other pickups that I normally see um, Lights are standard, normal. Tires, they actually upgraded from the BF Goodrich to the General AT, which I prefer these tires. They are more comfortable, softer. Okay, so that was a cool upgrade that they did. Um, it's got electric rear view mirrors, okay, go that they close manually. You do have a kit that you can put to close automatically. But I don't know if it's worth investing in that. It's just a button, you know, you gotta be a bit lazy. <laughs> so what will I do on this car? My plans for upgrading this car will be the bumper. I'm gonna take the bumper out. Okay. Uh, be to, uh, install a reinforced steel bumper that they sell. Okay. Uh, online. So it's all steel. It has bigger steps, which I can really step on, and it comes with like this protection roll bar on the side that goes all the way to here. Stops right here. So if someone bumps on the bumper, it's more protection because these are these are quite um, expensive bumpers, 
and I can't really step on it because it's all plastic, you know. And if I want to maintain this car like prestige, like I would normally do, yeah, I can't put my feet here, it just hurts every time I do it. So, I'm gonna get a steel upgraded uh, bumper which will look much cooler. Give me this side tubing steel bars on the side and at the back. I'll show you guys like a preview photo. Yeah, I think it's gonna look very cool. They have also for the front, but I'm not gonna change the front because I still haven't found the upgraded bumper that I like. Um, but I'm going to get a bull bar and the bull bar will come like from all the way down here This is metal Steel metal, okay? Underneath here then here it starts with the plastic So the bull bar comes like with comes from the bottom here Takes a bar from across left to right and It comes all up here all the way up here and also comes all the way here and goes down again, okay? So that's second upgrade rear bumper front bull pole okay bull bar for the front and um, I'm also going to get tailgate um, like dampers that's also be something I'm going to put all this on video content that's another upgrade I'm going to do um, and what else there was something else but I can't really remember I think no that was it's one two three yes three upgrades so I'm going to share that with you guys uh, in case someone like wants to see those upgrades I'm going to share them now inside we got like um, electric windows uh, to lock the windows at the back uh, lock and unlock the doors we got the chairs are super super comfortable it's got the Raptor logo uh, why did I choose this model I could have waited and gotten the more modern model but I love the front look of this car because I like the sportish look you know I like this like sportish look on the front it's all like slick you know more like sportish style um, if it was an American pickup bigger the squares um, the square look that it has in front you know straight ahead I would like it. I'm going to show you guys just now a wild check and I'll show you guys the difference. But I just love the slick, sports, iconic, first Raptor they ever did here in Europe. Um, I just fell in love, so yes. Now let's get inside here. Oh, to put the, um, the fuel, just pop the door out. So it's got like anti theft fuel. Uh, and the AdBlue. Close it. It's got the Ford Performance there. The step is so wide. It's for anyone, big people, small people, it's just cool. Inside, um, I also like the more simple uh, computer. Um, just to s update the software and everything is really a hassle. Imagine like having a big screen full of software. I don't even want to imagine like getting to all that stuff. So, okay, gotta erase that part. Got some music there. <laughs> um, let's crack up the windows here. It's very hot inside the car. Okay, so what do we have here? We got the automatic gear knob, which I like. It's like a it's like a fighter plane. <laughs> maybe exaggerating a little bit but it's really cool I like the the gear knob uh, this doesn't come with the Ford this ashtray that I got for the car it's quite cool it's got rubber protection supports um, you got here your traction control uh, all your traction safety modes um, your 4x4 differential lock um downhill assistance so you'll only use that if you like really 4x4 which i'm never going to do with this car of course um you got your volume for the radio your tune to select different um actually i don't even know what it does maybe it's like for yes change songs radio stations okay 
play, pause, forward, um, rewind to another track. You got all your climate controls manually with buttons, which I love. And then you got it all on screen. So I like it simple, and that's why I like this model. Um, the other model is also like almost another 20 grand. Uh, just to have like the big computer, different front look. Um, yes, the engine you'd probably get. I couldn't get the V6 diesel. I could get the two liter diesel. The V6 diesel is like another 20 grand. But um, in America, it's different. You get the V8s and the V10s and everything. That's it's a whole different ball game. <laughs> so um, this was a good price at the time and. Um, I can't complain about the performance on the engine. I have a 2 litre on the Caddy and I know those things go, go, go. So if you don't really use it for off-road, just for road use, I don't see really the trouble of a 2 litre on a car like this. Especially because they use a 2 litre on the like van, Mercedes Sprint and everything. They're big vans and they can't handle it. So I don't see a problem. So we got all the lighting control here. So it's quite packed. Um, rear view mirrors controls right here see in and out just a little button um, wind screen wipers front and back oh you got your cruise control and lane um, to keep on the lane maintenance like it helps you guiding assistance to have all the systems running 100% you have to pay 3 euros something monthly after a year through the app that's what they started charging me um, I like the metallic flaps the automatic uh, speed control gearbox speed control can you hear hard al aluminium see that's cool all your phone control you can do everything here on the wheel um, the both seats are automatic, controlled, like electronic, not automatic, electronic. Uh, front, back, even on the back, like to tilt it. Um, to get the lumbar support is through this lever here, I always keep it like that. Then you have like, this glove compartment, the first one. And then you got the second glove compartment, where I keep my conversion plug because this comes with a plug inverter this like the english style and it converts to the european style so i always have this here uh, just in case we'll get back on the back um, part of the car just now we got our sun gloss which i'll never use <laughs> okay our mirrors see if we all always beautiful doesn't have lights so it's more like really a work course modern luxurious pickup <laughs> all this is leather so you can see all the reviews in detail on the internet but i want to share with you guys because this these are the cars we're going to be using so i got it it doesn't come with this book did you know that i had to buy a book um a brand new ford um manual holder like to put your booklets everything i had to buy this to put in the car brand new uh, i ordered online it's universal and it fits don't ask me why but it gives like for all thoughts um because this doesn't even come with a thing like that i mean for such expensive cars they just like trim 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 the cost is amazing um what else you got another cup holder with um adjustable springs handbrake manual handbrake which i like just makes me like feel i'm in a simple car you know i like the red center <laughs> um symboling right there um you got the handle on each side which is cool and then you got the lights okay um lights for the back right here so it's all very simple i mean if i want to change a light bulb if i want to do i know i can feel comfortable working on this car two charges that's cool 
Um, this I normally always use this mat for the phones. You can build a lot of stuff your phone or whatever here. I always have that PVC mat in there, as you can see. Um, and that's the front, eh? Five compartments. I think I got it all. It's a very nice place to be in. Very nice. Let's go back to the to the back seats now. Okie dokie. Oh, so this is a three-seater because it's for tax purpose uh, But in the company's name so here in Portugal you have to have Three seaters maximum for tax purpose company, okay? Uh, to put in your tax deduction So this was available to convert into three seaters. What they do is they put a, a box right here This was a glove compartment that I still have the box But I prefer to put all the tools into that other box at the back there because uh, I can still leave this armrest over here Okay And I even got like ranger pads for in there um, But you can't sit in here, okay, so the seat belts are all tucked inside all hidden away So there's no seat belts here legally. You cannot sit more than one person only one person there That's the law if you want tax deduction remember um so here we got our inverter right there you see and another charger i only saw that now <laughs> okay that's cool and uh, it really came with the rubber mats as well although i had to pay for them uh, so i keep my original carpets underneath these rubber mats it goes all the way around so it's not destroy the carpets original we also got the window control right here door lever is oh, very beautiful very beautiful um, a lot of space hot plastic very secure very well made uh, very beautiful yes I put this strap here so that I can put I have a fridge normally that I transport for heat and cold food that I put on top here uh, that's why I always have this padding also to protect the seats from this box that they put I had to take this box out and improve the upholstery on it. It was all wood underneath and it even had some like wood spikes and that that were going to turn to the seat. So before that happened, I inspected it because I, I didn't trust the way they did it. And I upholstered the whole underneath of this box and put it back in place to make sure that it won't damage the seat because you can convert this to five seaters in five years without getting tax. Um, uh, without getting you having to pay the tax back that you deducted this is the legal law uh, it doesn't come with lights this model but it does come with a charger right down there on the left side yes so upgrades trunk damper which I have to install so that I can let go of the trunk and it can fall on its own why because another upgrade I just remembered right now uh, I have already bought a ladder and I have it, a ladder that stays stuck here on the trunk, right here. So what you do is you take then the ladder, pick it up, it has like some straps, you pull it to the side and you drop it onto the floor. And then instead of jumping on the trunk loading uh, bed right here, uh, I can just walk up with steps. I don't know if you guys ever seen that upgrade. But that's something I'm going to do also for video content and I think you guys will like it. So as I said previously, it's going to be uh, uh, install some stairs on the trunk. Okay. Uh, new upgrade and improved rear bumper and a bull bar in front. Okay. And um, here at the back it's the same thing. You also have to put some storage in here, which is quite cool, which no one's ever going to use. I don't like them. <laughs> and uh, yes, very nice as Alcantara with the uh, leather on the sides. Very nice. And that's about it. Now we just have to drive it and show you guys how it drives. It's got basically everything. I mean, what else do you want in a car like this? Beautiful.
and I just love this model it's like I say this sportish look in front that just goes like round because I like I love sports cars and I love the sportish look that it doesn't look like a just straightforward pickup you know so it's very high quite high and everything it's very nice so that's it guys for the Ford Raptor um, I love this car every detail in it and now I'm going to show you guys the wild track as well compare it's already with standard um, trailer plug and trailer adapter comes already with the pickup don't have to pay extra for that comes with license plate light, lighting and everything so this all is going to disappear just this stays this whole frame the only thing is the bumper so the bu other bumper goes on top of this one it's going to be quite interesting keep the parking sensors on the other one it's going to be amazing the upgrade i'm going to enjoy it i'm going to push it front so that we can film the other one also the pedals are also quite cool very nice with the aluminium trim all around let's just uh, push this a bit forward so uh, because uh, i made a friend's house and i bought uh, our raptor uh, he's got a wild track and i want to just like also do the see to go reverse so normally i just like release the brakes press the brakes neutral drive handbrake off just to not force the gearbox you know okay as you can see look because the trip was 300 kilometers look 2000 300 and 27 kilometers see going to push it forward because I don't know if he's um, if he needs more space you know okay so I always put the handbrake leave it in neutral let go of the brake pedal push the brake pedal and then park like that I know that the hand the gearbox what isn't being forced you know and start stop button switch off so it's already quite very modern for the car that it is, so can't complain. I'm not saying it's not worth the extra money for the newer model. It's a beautiful car. But for me, I couldn't like do another 20 grand on it, you know. <laughs> okay everyone, so check it out. Ford Raptor, old model, against the Wild Track new modern model <laughs> see so very different unfortunately someone already scraped here shame um, that's why I'm thinking of getting the bull bar for this one um, because I don't want no one scratching this part um, someone hits him here and uh, I'm just going to see if I can help him to get the bull bar for this car so that in case someone tries to hit him, he's protected, you know. There's a steel bar right here. They certified, homologated for Europe. That's a very big... <laughs> Look at this little guy. What are you doing here? Oh, you bite. You bite. You bite, you little one. You bite. <laughs> Crazy cats. Okay, so I wasn't expecting to see uh, that guy there. But... Uh... <laughs> He's chilling. So this is the V6, not the two litre or little one. <laughs> um, we still didn't get the V6 when our one came out. You could only get the V6. We did get the V6, but it was only in petrol, not diesel. So this one already comes with a side step. This is also plastic. Yes. As you can see, the problem is they could have been a bit more out, but I know by law you can't go really out. Although they could have got a little bit out because uh, of the step there. But uh, then you might still like, scrape your plastics, you know. But it's still quite cool because you can just get into the side, you know. That's something that I uh, will probably start having once I put the upgraded rear bumper because it comes with this tube steel bar. Um, 
So because it's a wild shack, it really comes already painted. This also comes like with the trailer adapter and the plug. That's yeah. Might as well see already the trunk. Okie dokie. So this one has the electric gates, which doesn't have a button inside. So use a key. See? So it will be like I'm comparing one to another. I think it says a little bit more forward. You see the curtain, that's the thing. Yeah. But um, it's also quite cool. Actually, in the wild track on the previous model, it was more expensive the manual curtain than the electric. Now, let's just compare here the trunk over here the manual versus the electric. So, yeah, it will go further more in. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, you see? So, it stands out a little bit more. That's why. Uh, just show you guys everything. The cool thing is that this one comes with the a inverter plug as well at the back, which the other one doesn't. Oh, here's the button to close the tailgate. And it comes with lightning, like lights in the loading bed, which the other one doesn't. I don't even know if there's a place to put it. Now that we're here, probably is. Let's just open up the curtain, you got enough light. <laughs> um, it's not like we really use it like always in dark areas and stuff like that. You got the standard hooks, everything. Also comes with the plastic cover. Uh, that's why I got in the rubber mats. Also needs the dampers here. I'm going to see if I can also get the dampers for him for this model. And uh, he can also install it. Close that up. So I'll see on this one, it comes with plastic already. See, so they upgraded that. On the Raptor model, that model there, it didn't come, you see. And uh, this trimming, I still asked them if they had the trimming, but they didn't, so I had to get it myself. So, yeah. There you go. Um, wheels are standard. These are 20 inch rims, these are 17. Bigger tires, of course, they already um, 70, and these are 55. You see the difference? So, for 4x4, four four, normally you have to have uh, smaller rims to have a bigger tire. But the size 20, must be like 22, 20. I don't know, I'm not going to be uh, speculating. You can see there the difference almost, so even on height difference, it's like. Uh, see from here so it'll hit more or less here so it's higher because of suspension and wheels you can even see on the arch lines there the step is also a bit different already it's already got like this plastic I don't know if it's aluminium or plastic it feels colder I guess it's aluminium it's more or less also the same Diesel and add blue in the same place, also pops out. And of course, here you got like all paint and everything, trimmings, different. V6, 2 liter. What do you guys think? Which do you prefer? <laughs> of course, it's not two Raptors. If I had two Raptors, I'd go for that one. But if I had two Wild Tracks, I'd go for this one. You guys want to see me reviewing this this was my older car and this mercedes does look quite cool to like give a review on it if you guys think i should give a comments up um and i'll review it for you guys probably you guys already seen it but i'll go into detail eh? <laughs> i won't spare any time but yes today's about pickups so if there's anything I missed guys, just tell me. I don't know if you guys want to see the engine back and pop up the hoods very quickly. So here you got your V6 engine. It's quite a big boy. Coolant, water, windscreen, windscreen wiper, 
the liquid you got your the brake fluid right there big battery very well packed indeed I don't know what this uh, there's like a phone that's why it's got a little bit of scratches over there it's weird why does it have scratches and why does it have I've got to talk to him about this either the hood was up or some animal is getting in here so probably have to tell him about that let me get this up okay there you go that's easy yes air scoop right here quite cool got everything yuppie Okay, so here we got dampers on this food, which I didn't even know. <laughs> now I probably did know, but I forgot. So quite a big difference from there to here. So what do we have here? Air filter in the same place, coolant in the same place, diesel filter not in the same place. I think. Let me see. Not quite sure where the diesel filter is. Fuel filter. It is a different engine, so can't really know just like off by heart. Um, got all this covering here, so because it's more for like rally style and off road, maybe they like secure some stuff, you know, and cover in a different way. But it's a two litre, it will have a different like organization. Battery, yes, brake fluid everything okay big difference under the hood okay so that's closed then we have differences so control the windows here but the rear view side mirrors you already control here and not here on top like that one uh, step is a little bit shorter it's not so wide so you just have to get used to the difference that's only if you're going from one pickup to another um, this is in a different position so I'm noticing that they have these cool cup holders which I don't have on mine Raptor. it's quite cool if you want to like just leave it there they also have cup holder with spring adjustments right here this is quite cool. Then you got the drive modes. Instead of being right here, it's down here. Completely different layout. I mean, you got electronic handbrake. You got your modes with the button right here. There you have to put the modes on the steering wheel. Um, okay, so limited cruise on that one was here on this lever. Here it's all on the steering wheel. All these options are on the steering wheel, I guess, to make it more easier. I would say it's easier to like see these levers than on that one because you got the pedals. Here you don't have the automatic pedals. Shift gears. Uh, it's more or less okay. This is quite different. I actually like more of those. These have like a futuristic beehive look to it. They still have their screen plastic. <laughs> um, switch the see if it switches on. No, yeah. Okay, so here it gives like a big screen, much more detailed than modern, more complex, you know. Uh, let's close here the door. Rush is going to be blingy. The like gun trigger handles, which is quite cool. That's, that's actually, I like that. That's cool. Got like a nice silver trimming all around here. Um, the w side rear view mirrors adjustments, I do prefer these. this one like right here. Just like the Citroen Saxo, much, much easier. Just like the Mazda and the Honda, it's all here. Much easier indeed than being doing it right here. 
Um, you got leather here, on the other one you got leather all around here, you just got on this trimming. I don't know about the wild trick, the, sorry, the Raptor, I'm checking out the wild trick. You do have a top glove compartment, which does look quite cool indeed. Then you got the lower one, okay. Then you got like padding over here, that's nice to put your phone and everything, this I like. Okay, I don't know what this is for, probably like coins, but they would chop off <laughs> um let's see here okay so much more complicated uh if i want to like go into apple car let's see yeah okay so you got everything i mean okay yeah you got everything uh everything it's like having a giant tablet I'm actually seeing here software updates because okay so they've got the latest updates already okay automatic okay okay he actually wanted me to see if there were any updates you know um, but uh, they have to switch on the wireless. I don't know if they have Wi-Fi network on. Yeah, let me just see. No. No. Then I'll check on on his app if he's upgraded already. So yes, um, big tablet. You still have your controls here. Climate. Temperature. Your AC. Oh, that's max AC, sorry. Yes. Okay, so you still have that. You do have the computer to do everything. It's more or less just like that, it's just that you have much more control of the, the, um, the car, like lights, everything, you know. And it's bigger, you can see it better. You don't really have to go all the way, like, just see on a small screen. Okay, you get more distracted. Um, it's just all modernized, you know. The gear lever is completely different. I mean, there's still like a button here. I'll actually switch it on here. Okay, so you still have your, just a little trigger here. Reverse, neutral, okay. And if you like, leave it in neutral, and switch it off it will automatically go to park so that's also cool do you see that um so much more modern stuff going on here system of so battery it's not a problem because already show, showed you guys everything let me see here so you got your air vents, you got air con, you got everything, you got a little storage over here, you got USB is down here. Um, this must be a wireless charger, I don't know if he has this option, I don't think so, no. Um, you can put some stuff here. Okay, it's very narrow, I don't even think you can put chips in here. I don't believe you can, not the ones we got. <laughs> um, then you got the glove compartments. Okay, so we got some sweets here, that's cool. And you still have charger inside there. Okay. Quite big, eh? It's wider than the other one. It doesn't come in like two layers. Uh, the seats are all leather. Also got the wild track trimming here. Uh, sunglasses as well. Just like that. Um, you got your more modern lights LED But like more like spotlights SOS That one doesn't come with the SOS um, Your mirror also doesn't come with lights Didn't know that Okay And then um, That's about it So now we go to the back and see But it's a very nice place to be in I mean um, Yes if you guys once a pickup, it's very, very nice.
very nice so now we go to the back spot and again the gunshot levers very cool so the new Raptor is very nice <laughs> very cool is it worth an extra 20 grand for the more modern Raptor I guess so because you have like the computer it's still 20 grand I mean is a computer worth more 20 grand no but he's a v6 and a computer and all these like different trimmings um i probably would say yes because an engine v6 isn't the same as a two liter it is more expensive it also has more expensive maintenance if something goes wrong if something doesn't go wrong because they normally are stronger then you don't have a problem right so if you have the extra 20 grand um you won't be disappointed I still prefer my sportish shape um, of that one right there um, and I prefer like the more simple computer but that's me but if you're more into the more modern stuff like more technological um, more like upgraded gadgets then yes the facelifts of this one com like the wild this wild track compared to the old wild track I would go for it straight ahead because the older wild track had nothing to do with this one this one is much much better than the older one um in case of the raptor i don't know if i would go for it but in the wild track i would this is a beautiful beautiful car definitely prefer it over the wild track a hundred percent um very nice and you got your inverter at the back as well and usb connections which you don't have on the older models now this is a five seat because this didn't come with this isn't for tax deduction purpose lever yes just like that one so that's exactly the same okay and they put this cloth to protect the seats that's cool okay okay dokey also got storage room right here and that's it guys so hope you guys enjoyed this content um a bit what like different specs you know different cars but it's cool always to compare one with another so stay tuned guys and uh, more content coming up um, and see you on the next one out